To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. The Sanger Theater on Canal Street was the flagship of the Sanger Brothers Movie Theater Empire. The 4,000-seat venue opened in 1927 and cost over $2 million to build. Architect Emile Weil's atmospheric interior design included a night sky ceiling with 150 lights arranged to form constellations. The first shows at the Sanger were a combination of live vaudeville-style entertainment and a silent film. Those original live shows also featured the Sanger Grand Orchestra, which included on trumpet a young future star named Louis Prima. In 1933, the live entertainment element was abandoned and the Sanger finally converted to talking pictures. In 1964, a wall was built in front of the balcony to create a second piggyback movie theater called the Sanger Orleans. After falling into disrepair in the 1970s, the theater was bought by local businessman E.B. Brazil, who renovated it into a performing arts center. For 25 years, the Sanger prospered until flooding from Hurricane Katrina closed the venue. It finally reopened in 2013 after a $51 million effort to fully restore the theater to its original 1927 luster. Today, a copy of the original marquee lights up Canal Street, inviting a new generation of theatergoers to step inside this treasured National Historic Landmark in downtown New Orleans. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by J.P. Morgan Chase, 